Okay, for the second part, I want to look at imaging with uh, acoustic waves. So that means more or less means ultrasound. And uh, yeah, I've already looked at a simple example, and not a simple example. I've already looked at an example in the introduction. And uh, in ultrasound imaging, we have several modalities. There might be inner sources. That's something that I mentioned in the introduction. So you might have photoacoustics where the sound actually comes from outside the body. But the more common things are either transmission measurements where you have an unknown body that's radiated by sound from outside and you measure the transmitted waves uh, behind the object. That would be something like a CT measurement or CT idea. And uh, the last thing could be reflection. So you radiate the body with, uh, with sound waves and you measure the reflected waves. Now, um, to fix up ideas, what we have is sound waves. Of course, sound waves, very, we assume that uh, sound waves uh, satisfy the scalar wave equation. That's not always true, but for our model, that will do. And uh, more or less, the only unknown in here is the speed of sound. And uh, the wave equation uh, is then C of x squared, the, gray, the, uh, <laughs> the Laplacian of U of x and t with respect to x. x is the second derivative of u uh, with uh, re respect to t. And u, of course, is the sound pressure. OK, the idea is we somehow measure u, the sound pressure, away from the object. And our goal is to reconstruct the sound speed c from these measurements. And uh, since that is distributed, that would be some kind of a tomographic reconstruction. Applications could be, well, you have that normal 1D ultrasound that you know from the doctor's office. So uh, there is something that's uh, the, a 1D device that is put onto your chest and somehow the doctor is able to look inside your chest. So we'll look at that. That would be one example where reflected, only reflected waves are measured because nothing is measured on the other side of your body. We have geophysical problems. That is, uh, um, you have uh, uh, small explosions on the top of the Earth. Then a sound wave travels into the Earth, is reflected by something, and there it is uh, measured by a series of geophones. So uh, that would again be a reflection type measurement on a completely different scale. Um, then um, very similar problems arrive in inverse radar. So um, I would just like to, um, to mention this. I will not go into detail about that. So if you want to do better radar, then you will again end up with uh, inverse wave, wave equation problems. And uh, one thing I want to mention where we've been involved in for quite some time, where also transmitted waves are measured, and that's um, ultrasound tomography. And I'll give you a little bit more detail about that. But let's start with common ultrasound. And I'll give you a very simple, very brief description, but it's not too far away from the truth. Um, when the doctor puts up that 1D device on your chest, then uh, small uh, ultra wave pulses are sent into your body. And uh, the transducers on the top here, typically that's something like 256 small transducers, small devices that can transmit and measure ultrasound. Uh, they send that pulse into your body, then they switch to measuring. And uh, the simple model that is used more or less is you send a pulse in, and if it hits something, then it comes back. And uh, so you have something like this uh, situation over here. So uh, the, uh, these are the transducers. This should be your body. And there's something inside here. So the idea is that a wave is sent down. And if there's something over here, and that something usually means uh, a change in wave speed, so something is reflected, 
So uh, the idea is it goes back up like this and is measured over here. And uh, so uh, we know that there must have been something down there because then something is measured. If there's nothing down here, then no there will be no reflective wave and there will be no image at all. Okay, so uh, more or less that's all, that's the complete idea. And uh, now let's look at what the measurements would look like for a, sim for a single detector, for a single transducer. It will send down a wave. Then at some point it might hit this point over here. So that wave, there is a reflected wave traveling back uh, and uh, that would be measured. And uh, a little bit later, the rest of the wave will hit this second um, object over here, it will also cause a reflected wave. And since the, it takes longer to take to go down there and go up, that, um, that um, signal will be sent later. So I should say this is the measurement of one transducer in time. And so uh, from the times that were traveled, we can say, okay, there is uh, some object at depth one and some object at depth two. Um, you see that uh, this model already falls far too short, and that's one of the reasons why the, why the images are not very good. Now, to get an image, uh, what you do is you just uh, plot the, uh, the 256 measurements you had over here in time. So um, up here, that's the transducers at time zero. And then uh, I draw, let's say, a black dot whenever there's something over here. So if I would uh, just enter this measurement into the image, I would just draw, plot, or draw or plot the, the measurement from top to bottom here. So this, in a way, is time. This is time zero. This is end of time. And uh, I have one blob over here, which stands for this object, one blob over here, which stands for this object. And you see, in a sense, that gives me the, uh, an, an image of what was actually below the uh, transducer. Um, then typically uh, these images look something like this. So the idea would then be that, uh, for example, over here, the image, the ultrasound went down. There was something over here. So it was sent up again. And that's why we have this, um, this reflection over here. Um, okay, uh, and uh, this is a cavity over here, so there's no signal from that point. Okay, um, that's more or less the idea behind it. It's, it's not completely true, but more or less that's the idea. You see that it's very, very simple. There's um, absolutely no mathematical processing uh, involved. More, more or less you're looking at the raw data that comes from the transducers. And uh, by the way, it's not so easy to find uh, medical images that um, that actually can be used for uh, for demonstration uh, because everything is kept in privacy. So uh, most of the times, <laughs> what scientists are left with is taking their own images. So uh, in fact, you're looking at a very young image of our sun here. Okay. So um, we understand that uh, common ultrasound from the doctor's office is something that's um, not very mathematical and no, there's no inverse problem involved. There is one involved, but it's just simply not solved. Okay, I want to give you a second example. 